you've been following the news, you might have come across alarming headlines about the projected exhaustion of the Social Security Trust Funds by the year 2034, leading to concerns of Social Security going bankrupt. While it's true that the trust funds are expected to be depleted, the conclusion that Social Security will go bankrupt is not accurate. Let's delve into the details to understand why. Hello, I'm Ivory Hacker for Noble Gold News. Will Social Security ever be completely run out of its money? In short, the answer is no. As long as current law remains unchanged, Social Security benefits are funded by two main sources. FICA taxes paid by workers and their employers participating in Social Security and the Social Security Trust Funds. As long as workers and employers continue to pay FICA taxes, there will always be a stream of revenue to cover benefits for retirees and beneficiaries. This ensures that Social Security will never entirely exhaust its funds or go bankrupt. However, the trust funds are projected to be depleted in the foreseeable future, which could pose challenges to the availability of this funding source. What are the projected timelines for Social Security trust funds running out of money? According to the 2023 Social Security Trustees Report, the Old Age and Survivors Insurance OASI trust fund is expected to be able to pay 100% of scheduled retirement and survivor benefits until the year 2033. After that, Without intervention from Congress, the fund is projected to be depleted. At that point, the sole source of Social Security funding would be FICA taxes paid by workers and their employers. These taxes would cover approximately 77% of scheduled benefits, including a 23% reduction in retirement benefits. While a 23% reduction in benefits is concerning, it's important to note that retirees and beneficiaries will still receive some benefits contrary to the alarming headlines. Similarly, Disability Insurance DI Trust Fund is projected to pay scheduled disability benefits until the year 2097. When considering both the OASI and DI funds together, the combined funds are estimated to be depleted by 2034, still able to cover about 80% of scheduled retirement and disability benefits. When would be the earliest and latest years that the trust funds run out? To determine the earliest and latest years of the depletion of the trust funds, We need to understand the methodology used by Social Security actuaries. They make various assumptions about the program's operation over the next 75 years, considering factors like inflation, productivity, unemployment rates, pay increases, interest rates, demographics, and immigration. Since predicting the future with certainty is impossible, actuaries use three sets of assumptions. Intermediate represents their best estimate. Low cost represents optimistic assumptions. High cost represents pessimistic assumptions. The projections mentioned earlier are based on intermediate assumptions. Using pessimistic assumptions, the combined OASI and DI trust funds are estimated to be depleted by 2031, representing the earliest scenario. Conversely, under optimistic assumptions, the funds are projected to last until 2067, representing the latest scenario. Who would be most affected by the lack of funds? Nearly all retirees, survivors, and beneficiaries who rely on Social Security benefits would feel the impact if their benefits were reduced by 20% or more due to congressional inaction. With over 66 million people currently receiving benefits from Social Security, this would affect a substantial portion of the population. Those most affected would likely be low-income retirees and beneficiaries who depend heavily on Social Security for their income. Research from Social Security indicates that about half of all retirees and beneficiaries receive at least half of their total income from Social Security. This means that more than 30 million retirees and beneficiaries would face significant financial hardship if their benefits were reduced in the future. How can you supplement your Social Security income? When it comes to investing for retirement, it's essential to start saving as early as possible, whether that's through an employer-sponsored 401k or pension plan or through an individual retirement account. Though experts recommend saving between 10 and 15% of your annual income, you can start small and increase your savings rate over time, especially if you have outstanding debt from credit cards, healthcare expenses, or student loans. 
If you have an employer that matches your 401k, maxing out your matching contributions should be your first priority as it's essentially free money. Many employers will offer a match typically between 2% and 4% of an employee's annual salary. After you've maximized your employer match, you might consider opening an individual retirement account, which is a retirement account separate from your employer. The traditional retirement account and Roth IRA are two types of popular retirement accounts. Both retirement accounts offer different tax advantages. A Roth IRA is an after-tax retirement account where individuals use income that's already been taxed and their investments grow tax-free over time. This means you won't have to pay taxes on your investment gains later in life. A Roth IRA, however, has an income limit, so it's not available for everyone. For 2022, the income limit for individuals was $144,000. For married couples filing jointly, it was $204,000. Select found that Charles Schwab, Fidelity Investments, Ally Invest, and Betterment offered some of the best Roth IRAs. On the other hand, a traditional IRA is a pre-tax retirement account where individuals' contributions are tax deductible now, but they'll have to pay income taxes later when they withdraw money in retirement. Depending on your annual income, whether you have a retirement plan through work, your traditional IRA contributions may also be considered tax deductible. In other words, your traditional IRA contributions could lower your income, which could reduce the amount you owe in income taxes. Remember that you need to hedge your wealth. Invest in an asset that can protect your retirement savings. It has an inverse relationship with traditional assets like stocks. Since we experience economic downturn at an average every 6.5 years, you need an asset you can turn to while you wait for your traditional assets to recover, and that is gold. Gold has gone up during or right after every economic downturn. Noble Gold Investments can help you with gold. They have a US-based team that is ready to answer your questions. Call them at 877-646-5347. Again, that's 877-646-5347. You may also start by downloading their gold and silver investment guide at noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com.